Yo, what is going on, YouTube? What's going on, everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? Welcome back. So we're back here with another reaction. This was going to be a new reaction to Susie Quattro, all right? I've heard of her on, uh, I think one of the reactions I did had maybe her sister Patty on it, or maybe Susie was on it, but I think there's sisters out there, at least. I'm thinking she's one of them. I'll go ahead and find that out afterwards, but that's where this name is kind of bringing up feelings is that maybe she was a part of, or her sister was a part of something, if she's even the right lady. Uh, so that's where I'm recognizing the name from. Now we've got this song, Glad All Over. Okay, I've never heard of this artist before. I haven't ever heard this song before. This is a donation request via PayPal. So thank you so much for supporting the channel in that way. Really appreciate it. Excited to get into this one, man. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Um, totally looks like out of the 80s metal scene. You know, I don't know, 80s? Got this whole look to it, man. I'm assuming that's where this is out of because it just looks like it, right? You're pinned up against some kind of backdrop. Got that leather drag. You got to look tough, right? It was just part of what was going on. But if I'm completely wrong, people are going to be there. Oh, why are you saying this? You're, you're so wrong. It happens, man. Sometimes I'm right. Sometimes I'm wrong. But I got to say what's on my mind. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. See what's going on. Thank you for the donation request. Let's jump into this. See what's up. Here we go. Interesting film. So this is an interesting mix. It's not a bad mix. It might not be something I would jam daily, uh, but it's not a bad mix of music, but it definitely sounds like a mix to me going on here. You got those harmonies in the chorus section that's reminding me of like 60s music, honestly. Almost like you put a rock filter over a 60s kind of boppy song. I don't want to get the term wrong. Let me see what I'm thinking about. All right, so maybe it's like Baroque pop that i'm thinking about but this definitely sounds like pop rock right um but it sounds like they're pulling this heart these harmonies this cadence out of another era of music and then putting a rock rap over it man i hope that makes sense let's play a little bit of that area and just think of a different type of music backing these harmonies and these vocals and it's it could sound like it's like a 60s pop song to me 
All right, it's about right here. So let's hop into it. And then when the harmonies kick in, you can see it's a different era inspired, in my opinion. Okay, maybe that was the Here we go. Right here. So it just feels like it's got a rock filter on top of a different generation of music. It doesn't sound bad. Like I said, maybe not, uh, maybe not my personal favorite, uh, but it's got, it's got appeal, I would say. And I would probably classify this more under like pop rock. It says hard, rock hard up there, maybe some hard rock, but we'll go ahead and jump into some of the history on this one and see what's going on. All right, so let's jump into this one. This is more about the album right here. So this is released in 19... 80 man and that like i said that album cover started giving me vibes of like the rock scene from the 80s that's really uh some of the glam i'm, I'm used to seeing is some of the glam rockers and stuff and this just kind of gave me that intro vibes right here they got this listed as rock hard rock and pop rock so yeah they were agreeing with me that some of this is pop rock right here it looks like maybe glad all over does have something so here we go glad all over that explains a whole heck of a lot, man. So we've got this song looking like a cover uh, from a group called the Dave Clark Five. And this is a song released in 1963, considered beat and pop rock. So maybe beat is the, the term I was looking for, maybe pop rock. Uh, but it does say that the for the original, at least, Glad All Over featured Smith leading unison group vocals, often in call and response style, like we got a saxophone line used not for solo decoration but underneath the whole song and a big air hammer beat that underpinned the wall of sound uh don't have any credits given uh down here for the group or for cc quattro doing a cover of it um but it did link to this so I, I was assuming they would mention it somewhere on here that it did get a little bit of a cover that we just reacted to okay so even though we didn't see that we do see that this is a cover of a song from the 60s so that just actually man just kind of rounded this out so much and it made a lot more sense uh to me now so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool once again sorry i got the phone buzzing off uh once again learning a lot from the channel learning a lot from your guys inputs and being able to identify that that was a 60s sound man right on that means my brain is not complete mush and i'm able to absorb some good information from you guys uh so that's what we've got about this one released in 19 80 man uh on release the album was received favorably uh, favorably by the majority of music critics with many critics claiming it to be their best album of 1980s her best album of 1980s however it was still quattro's poorest selling studio album up to that point in the u.s and norway although in australia quattro was given a gold record for both the album and the single by musical entrepreneur molly meldrum all right so let's learn a little bit about Susie right here so we've got Susie quattro coming out of detroit michigan shout out to detroit man my one of my favorite artists eminem is out of detroit so really cool stuff uh so we've got her doing genres rock hard rock glam rock and pop rock she's a singer musician songwriter actress radio host she plays bass guitar and keys and she's still going present today all right so Susie is still out there rocking it and kicking booty today man Susie k quattro is an American singer, bass guitar, songwriter, and actor. In the 1970s, she scored a string of singles that found success in Europe and Australia with both Can the Can and Devil Gate Drive, reaching number one in several countries, okay? Okay, so here we do got uh, a little bit of info about her sister Patty. So I think this was the relationship I was thinking about. Her sister Patty joined Fanny, uh, one of the earliest all-female rock bands to gain national attention okay so fanny i haven't reacted to any fanny don't know any fanny uh but they were an american rock band active in the early to mid 1970s they were one of the first all-female rock groups to achieve critical and commercial success including two billboard hot 100 top 40 singles man so pretty cool stuff it sounds like she's got some uh artistic stuff going on in her family with her father um he was a semi-professional musician and worked with G uh, general motors her paternal grandfather was an Italian immigrant to the U.S. and her mother, Helen, was a Hungarian. Her family, yeah, and then down here, you've got her sister, Arlene, is a mother to an actress. Her sister, Patty, 
uh, of course, joined Fanny, one of her early, uh, one of the earliest female groups, and her brother Michael Quattro was also a musician. All right, so there we go on that one, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed rocking with me here today. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the donation request. Really appreciate that as well. Hopefully, you enjoyed the reaction. Sorry, it wasn't probably among something that I would play repeatedly, uh, but I enjoyed the sound. I can see the appeal to the sound, uh, and it was so much cooler. Like realizing, okay, this is a sixty sound. That's why. It had some of those uh, things that I'm familiar with coming out of that era. So really cool. Hopefully you enjoyed me making that connection, man. That was really cool. So thank you guys for being here today. If you enjoyed the reaction, please don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the descriptions down below for other ways you can help the channel, including becoming a member here on my YouTube, my Patreon, or donation requests, all of which greatly helped me uh, in the end, man. Thank you so much, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.